Hey everyone, it's me again, Larry Andrews. <clears throat> and I'm sure by this time, you all saw President Biden give his speech on gun control. <sighs> Joe Biden, as much as I appreciate a lot of stuff you are trying to do, you and Kamala Harris, Joe Biden, as far as the Second Amendment is concerned, you're an asshole. But the question is, is Joe Biden as much of a Second Amendment asshole as, say, 45 was? Because 45 campaigned that, oh, I'm all about the Second Amendment. I'm all about gun rights, blah, blah, blah. And then he turned around and said, you know what? We should take the guns first and we'll deal with the courts later. Yeah, that's what I like. I like taking the guns first. And, you know, that was a reference to uh, red flag laws and a total, I'd say a total infringement on the Constitution and a whole lot of things. But Joe Biden, the whole time he was campaigning, kept saying, we're going to come for your guns. That's right, man. That's right, Jack. We're going to come for your guns. Him and Beto O'Rourke and all those people, they all said they were going to do that which gave anybody with, you know, half a brain figures, okay, this is what he thinks he's going to try to do. I may not agree with that, but I do agree with a lot of the other things he's going to do. So let's wait and see what happens. We can fight it in court, which you can. The problem is Joe Biden's not the only Second Amendment asshole in, in, in the White House or in government. The guy he wants to have run the uh, the uh, NFA, NFT, what was it? What was it? Uh, Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms, the ATF, right. The guy he wants is, is a absolute anti-gun right guy. And now he's going to be in charge of uh, ATF? Didn't we see what happened the last time the ATF tried to do something? Remember... Remember Waco? Remember Waco people? Shh. They, they want you to forget that. Okay, so there's a lot of two there's a lot of two A assholeism out there. A lot of it. And even more is coming from, you know, moms demand action, every town, is it every town or every city for gun control, you know, Bloomberg and his bullshit and the um, the Brady Brady firearms for safety, bullshit, all that stuff. It's all got to stop, guys. Now, that being said, you know, when he did his press conference, half of what Biden was saying was outright lies. And the other half were, I don't want to say total fabrication because that's the same thing as a lie. It's a twisting of facts to make it sound good for the people out there. And I never thought I'd hear uh, a sitting president say, you know, the, um, the amendments in the Constitution, they're not absolute. They're not absolute. They're not written in stone. They're not. You know, First Amendment, not written in stone. You can't say fire in a crowded theater. Well, actually, you can. But there's laws against saying certain things and calling to action. That's the thing. So... For people that say, well, the Constitution says you can't. No, it doesn't. Constitution is freedom of speech, period. Now, that doesn't mean freedom from consequences. And that's the problem here with the Second Amendment. Okay, and then when he was saying that it's about time we uh, made the gun manufacturers, you know, take away their immunity from being sued. They're, they're not immune to being sued. No big corporation that sells stuff is immune from being sued. If... They make a, what is it? What, what? Make a faulty product. So if you buy a gun from Smith & Wesson and you take said gun to the gun range for the first time and you want to shoot the thing and you shoot it and if it's a revolver, the cylinder explodes, you know, making you lose an eye and making the guy in the lane next to you get lacerations in his arm from flying metal. You can sue them for that because that's what? A faulty product. What you can't sue them for is if that same person who goes to a gun shop 
fills out all the forms, waits his three to ten days, does all this stuff properly, properly, legally buys a gun and goes and kills a bunch of people. You can't sue them for that. That's not their fault. Just like all the the um, drunk drivers. Okay, I am the victim of a drunk driver. I lost four years of my life to a drunk driver. Okay, there's lots of laws against drinking and driving. This guy still did it. There's also laws against speeding. This guy went against that law too. Long story short, I could not then go and sue. He had a Mitsubishi. I can't go and sue Mitsubishi because this fucking asshole drove completely drunk out of his mind at 120 miles an hour and rear-ended me and caused me all kinds of hassle, caused me all kinds of problems, and caused me four years of my life. I can't sue Mitsubishi because of that, nor can I sue... It's, it's ridiculous. But, so you can't sue cars when people do dumb things with cars. So why should you be able to sue gun manufacturers when people do dumb things with guns? And that's a big thing he talked about. It's a big thing all the anti-gunners talk about. You know, hold the gun gun manufacturers responsible. Well, no. You got to hold the people responsible. And there's enough freaking laws out there to hold people responsible. And they just don't give a shit. Just like those drunk drivers out there. Moms, the moms against drunk drivers, right? Mad. Yeah. That useless organization. Yes, I have a big problem with mad. But... Because they're useless, just like mothers demand action. Really? Because you're not getting any at home? Point is this. President of the United States cannot unilaterally, through um, executive orders, really do a whole lot. Because all that stuff requires the Congress. So a lot of what Joe Biden was doing was grandstanding for his base which I understand, he's a politician, he's gotta talk to his base. Just like 45 used to talk to his base. The only difference is, Joe Biden does it with a little bit more integrity. He does it with a little bit more intelligence. And though there's people out there and I've seen all the things, oh, Sleepy Joe actually made it through a whole thing without falling asleep. Oh, you know somebody's doing the talking for him because he can't put a sentence together. Okay, oh, that's bullshit. So that's gotta stop too, you know. Nitpicking little things out of people. Yes, he tripped going up the stairs to, um, going up the stairs to uh, Air Force One. A lot of people have tripped up and down those stairs. A lot of people have tripped on stairs. Doesn't mean the guy can't be the president. It means he tripped. People trip. But what the president can't do is unilaterally go, "Hey, you know, I don't like these things. Let's change this. Let's change that." Okay, and a lot of, <clears throat> like I said too, ma many of his things from that press conference were just lies. His whole thing about pistol braces. Ah. Come on, man, nobody needs pistol braces. What do you need a pistol brace for? You pick up a pistol, you put a pistol base on it, now you make it longer and easier to shoot and more, now it's more uh, reliable and it's more accurate and we don't need that. Okay. Maybe, but not everybody can handle two hands on a firearm. There are people out there with one arm. He's got one good hand and his other hand is shot. Pistol brace clamps around your arm so that you can hold that thing with one hand and aim it and use it. So what he's saying is, you know what? If you've got a, if you've got a physical disability and you don't have both your hands, you don't deserve to defend yourself with the, most, with the best possible tool. That's what he's saying, and I hate that. I hate that completely. I think it's total horseshit. That's why Joe Biden is a Second Amendment asshole. And there's so many other things he got into during his uh, press conference, but I I'm not even going to deal with any of that stuff because most of it isn't even going to happen. It's all going to get stopped or it's going to get held up in the courts. Okay. Unfortunately, I think red flag his red flag laws or what he calls his extreme risk protection orders... <laughs> might make it through. And if that happens, everybody's fucked. Because that gives law enforcement the right to just kick in your door, take your stuff and leave. And you never get to, you never get face to face with your accuser. If you're lucky, you'll get your stuff back in six months to a year, maybe. 
You know, and that's the other thing too, all the anti-gunners are like, it's only temporary. No, no, it's not. On the books, it's temporary, but you know how that goes. All these people can play games with your property and you'll never see it again. And what about the damage to your house? Guess what? You're liable for that too. So if somebody comes in and, and does a red flag on you and kicks your door in at two in the morning, kills your dog and like blows holes in the walls trying to get your guns, even if you don't have them, which happens occasionally, you're responsible. You have to pay for all that stuff. They're not going to pay for it. So that, that's a good thing, people? Red flag laws are a good thing? No, you're fucking assholes. It's the worst thing ever. And that goes against a whole bunch of other things in the Constitution. So when, you know, when Biden says, oh, you know, none of those amendments are written in stone, maybe he's got something in his head he's trying to do, but I don't think it's going to happen. But that all being said, I still think a bad day with Joe Biden as president is better than a really good day under 45. So, but that's just me. But uh, just keep your eyes open. Don't get into a panic. Don't go out and buy a bunch of stuff that you don't need just because you think it's going away because it's not going away anytime soon. Don't be a Second Amendment asshole.